NASA, a science experiment conducted from the ground in Lincoln was actually performed by a robot in space. Yeah, this story is so cool. Brian Mastery tonight on the breakthrough and how it was celebrated here in Nebraska and from 250 miles above. Wrap your mind around this. This box the size of a microwave with a robotic science experiment inside was assembled in Lincoln through a partnership with the University of Nebraska and Virtual Incision Two, one. and sent to the astronauts last month on the International Space Station. The idea seems simple. Use the robotic arm to cut simulated tissue. Here's the big deal. The first surgeon is using the hand and foot controls in Lincoln to control the grasping and cutting. Don't forget, the surgery is in space. You did pick the hardest one to cut. <laughs> Today's surgical robots typically take up an entire room. Space Mira is two and a half feet long and weighs two pounds. A small rubber band, <laughs> but a great leap for surgery. Yeah. This is the first step towards longer space flights, so astronauts could have an option in case of an emergency. It also opens the door to surgeries in hard to reach places, such as rural America. And a special thanks to the private company Virtual Incision as well as UNL's communications team for some of the video and images. The hardest part here for the surgeons is that the three quarters of a second that elapses from the time that you move the controls on the ground and then the robot moves in space. It takes a little getting used to. By the way, didn't you love the line? It was a bit hard to hear, but one surgeon when he said, one small rubber band, but a great leap for surgery channeling is Neil Armstrong, John Jacqueline. All right, Brian, well said.